It may not seem like it, given the damage it has caused, but plastic hasn't been around forever. In the course of human history, the timeline on plastic is actually pretty short. We didn't even call the seemingly indispensable innovation plastic until 1925. It crept up on us until the 50s, when global plastic production took off, and the idea of single-use plastics was born. Fast forward over the last 70 years, we now create over 300 million tons of plastic waste every year, which is nearly equivalent to the weight of the world's population. And plastic production is expected to double in the next 20 years. The timeline is escalating at an alarming rate. Our love affair with plastic has led it to being pretty much part of every product we use. It is everywhere. The problem is, it's also everywhere it's not supposed to be. We've been taught to believe that the answer lies in the three R's. In fact, the first blue box program in the world started in our own town of Kitchener, Ontario 30 years ago. But it isn't enough. Only 9% of our plastic is actually recycled, 12% is incinerated, and 79% remains in landfills or in our environment. The main culprit is plastic packaging, which represents 40% of global plastic production. It's used once and then discarded. And even if recycling worked, over 88% of global production is still virgin plastic because it's higher quality and cheaper than recycled materials. To move forward and build a more sustainable world, we need to rewind the timeline on plastic. We need to create innovations that upcycle our existing plastic waste, and most importantly, create alternatives that prevent the production of plastics altogether. That is exactly what we're doing at Enactus Laurier through two of our enterprises, Last 20 and Earth Suds. The average plastic bag has a useful life of 12 minutes, but at the end of that life, it stays around for another 500 to 1,000 years, and we use 5 trillion plastic bags globally every year. These bags are made of a thin plastic film called low-density polyethylene, or LDPE. It gets tangled in the machinery so is difficult to recycle and is not even accepted in many recycling programs. Instead, it sits in our landfills where it emits more methane and ethylene than any other plastic. At last 20, we're upcycling this plastic waste into sustainable pavement. Traditional pavement is 90% aggregate held together with 10% bitumen, a low-grade crude oil. We're supplementing 30% of the bitumen with LDPE. In fact, for every kilometer of road, we'll be upcycling almost 2 million plastic bags. Plastic increases the overall durability and longevity of the pavement. Using plastic waste also makes asphalt more porous, so it absorbs sound vibrations, lowering noise pollution. And our solution is just as cost-effective as traditional pavement. This year, we've raised 23,000 in funding for R&D. This has allowed us to complete multiple rounds of testing with CTA Labs to determine the optimal mix of plastic to asphalt for maximum strength and stability. Our first pilot will take place this summer at the Brantford site of Avitas. We'll be paving their loading dock area, which is roughly 2,100 square meters or about the size of a soccer field. This will be the first plastic pavement project in Ontario and the second in all of Canada. And we're also really proud to have created five green internships for youth in the process. Although our early adopters are projected to be private contractors, the public market for Canadian road and highway construction is around $13 billion. And we've seen early interest. At the Ontario Road Builders Association Conference, the municipalities of Thunder Bay and Niagara expressed a desire to partner with us. We're also spreading our mission globally by leading conversations with businesses and experts on our podcast, Sustainable Sessions. With over 1,000 listeners in 27 different countries, we're creating a global eco-community to advocate for systemic change. Last 20 is creating a sustainable home for LDPE, but this only helps us rewind the timeline by cleaning up our current plastic waste. With 360 million tons of new plastic produced annually worldwide, what we also need to do is stop the production of plastic altogether. It is estimated that over 23.7 billion shampoo, conditioner, and body wash bottles are used in North America and Europe alone every year. These bottles are extremely difficult to sort, clean, and recycle properly because of leftover product. So, they just end up in our landfills. This is the dirty side of soap. Imagine a world without plastic toiletry bottles. 
Without producing these bottles every year, we could instead provide clean drinking water to over 631 million people, power close to 2.7 million homes, and prevent CO2 emissions equivalent to taking over 716,000 cars off the road. This is why we created EarthSuds, solid single-use tablets of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. When you crush, add water, and lather, they work exactly like typical liquid products. They're packaged in recyclable paperboard or reusable shower cases, which eliminate the need for plastic altogether. It's shampoo without the bottle. Traditional products are over 85% water. Since our tablets are solid form, they don't waste water and the resulting product is four times lighter, allowing us to transport more in fewer trips, reducing our carbon footprint by 75%. In fact, the environmental impact of our innovation was recognized this past September, when we were named the best Enactus project in the world for solving our ocean's plastics crisis. Until recently, we were producing by hand with an annual production capacity of 80,000 tablets. We sold out our entire capacity this year, generating over 66,000 in revenue and eliminating the need for over 10,000 plastic bottles. This includes our donation of just under $3,000 worth of product to youth shelters in our one-for-one -one holiday campaign. But our demand was increasing at a rate beyond our one-room production facility, creating a backlog of $52,000 in orders and a lost opportunity to debut our product in a national grocery chain on Earth Day. It was clearly time to shift our focus to scaling production. After reaching out to more than 100 contract manufacturers, we signed with a facility in New York, increasing our capacity to over 4 million tablets a year, while maintaining a 32.5% gross margin. We've spent the last 12 months resourcing our ingredients to ensure the sustainability of our supply chain, reformulating our product, and conducting rigorous quality testing that has resulted in a superior product ready for national and international distribution. We also updated our logo and packaging and are currently in the process of completing our first production run of 150,000 tablets, eliminating the need for an additional 13,900 plastic bottles. Since we started selling our tablets in October 2019, they have been stocked by 76 small to medium retailers, but our increased capacity has opened the door to expand our distribution channels. We now have commitments with two of the largest national grocery chains in Canada, Loblaws and Sobeys. We expect to pilot our tablets in a Loblaw store in Ontario this summer and expand provincially over the next year. With Sobeys, our revenue potential climbs even higher. On a provincial level, we expect to be in 100 Sobeys, Freshco and Foodland stores that will generate an estimated revenue of $80,000 in the next five months. Based on our success at the provincial level and Sobeys' average uptake rate, we project to be carried in 376 additional stores across Canada resulting in a combined revenue of over $980,000 within the next 12 months. And with camping season around the corner, we saw an opportunity to introduce our suds to an entirely new market, and have begun conversations with Canadian tire store owners. With the world shifting online this year, we also focused on growing our e-commerce revenue. Over the last 12 months, the Earth Sud story reached over 2.6 million people globally through our various social platforms helping us to expand from 2 to 16 countries, achieving a 335% increase in e-commerce sales overall. We also signed with an international distribution and logistics company, giving us the ability to scale not just online, but through retailers worldwide. In response to consumer feedback, we developed a curly hair shampoo and conditioner this year. We are also exploring new product lines. After discovering that over 20 billion non-recyclable toothpaste tubes are produced globally every year, we created Smile Tabs, single-use, plastic-free toothpaste capsules. Our solution has a similar user experience to regular toothpaste, unlike any other zero-waste alternative on the market. Consumers will simply twist off the top of the capsule, squeeze the toothpaste onto their toothbrush, and then dispose of the water-soluble and biodegradable film eliminating yet another source of everyday plastic. It's one thing to rewind the timeline on plastic to create a more sustainable world, but who are we creating it for? At Enactus Laurier, we believe in empowering individuals with diverse abilities. In Canada, adults with developmental disabilities have an employment rate of less than 30%, making them one of the most excluded groups in our workforce. This year, we hired eight individuals with developmental disabilities in 13 green work placements. 
but Trinity speaks to the experience best. Earthsets is my very first job, and I am so proud now that I can accomplish anything if I put my mind to it. I did it! <laughs> At Anakis Laurier, we are using entrepreneurial action to create the kind of world we want to live in. We're rewinding the timeline on plastic, creating innovations that upcycle our existing plastic waste and alternatives that prevent the creation of plastic altogether. At Last20, our innovative technology is giving second life to existing waste plastics, helping create a future of sustainable infrastructure. We've created five green internships for youth and our pilot this summer will upcycle 817 pounds of plastic, eliminating over 1 million plastic bags from entering landfills. At EarthSuds, we redefine clean by eliminating single-use plastics from our daily routine. This year, we focused on spreading our impact globally by scaling production and distribution. We increased our manufacturing capacity, secured nationwide distribution, increased our e-commerce sales internationally to 16 countries, and created a whole new product line of sustainable toothpaste. We also maintained our focus on inclusivity by employing eight individuals with developmental disabilities. With this year's sales and our first production run of 150,000 tablets, we've eliminated the need for almost 25,000 plastic bottles, saving 84,000 liters of water and 819 liters of oil, and preventing 2,000 pounds of CO2 from entering our atmosphere. But this is only the start. Our vision is to enable everyone around the world to live a plastic-free life. At Enactus Laurier, we are taking bold action to rewind the timeline on plastic. One road, one tablet, and one capsule at a time.